That's right. Brian, come out the front. And then uh, we're going to be joined by, um, there's a couple of producers going to join us, and our writer and producer. Do you want to do this? <laughs> um, first, I'd like to bring on stage. <laughs>
scary, but thank you all for coming. Jennifer, how are you? find out more about her. I mean, she's one of the bigger mysteries, really. You know, her relationships and the way that she fits in. Uh, it must be kind of exciting for you to return and, and find out where her story is going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she's definitely taken on to, um, she's starting to find her journey into the, the Rebecca Romaine, kind of the later mystique that we know, but is also kind of still very um, close to Charles as well. They haven't seen <laughs> Close geographically, but um, yeah, it's just kind of her journey into becoming who she's going to be. Sure, Mr. Fassbender, how are you, sir? <laughs> he, he's hiding behind the podium, watching the footage. That's where I found this. <laughs> Yes. Crazy people. It's nice to be uh, very excited to be back. Fantastic. James, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm really good. I can't be in a room with this many people without saying, how you doing, Comic Con? Suspects, which is an ensemble, and uh, I enjoy I enjoy working with a, a lot of uh, there's a lot of interesting people to cut to when you're making an ensemble film, and uh, so I think the more the merrier. But I think the blend of these two casts is extremely unique, um, and it's just a thrill for me because I I was involved as a producer with uh, X Men First Class as a story writer, but not as a director. So it's an opportunity to work with this incredible group of people. Uh, who I've been enormous fans of for years, and to return with uh, this family of people who uh, I'm right at home with. So it, it, it came quite easy. That's great. Thank you. Very quickly for you, I mean, you talked a little bit about how much the role means to you, but the ensemble, being back with a group of people that you know, how, how uh, uh, does that fit in? Oh, man, this is an embarrassment of riches. I mean, look, to work with the, the people who were in the very first film I ever did, that's incredible alone. This is about, this is two great movies in one. If I just got to do one of these movies in my life, I'll be happy. The fact that I'm with everybody here, uh, this is something I'll never forget. All right, you next two guys, I have to tell you.
quite an extraordinary thing. Yeah. That's lovely. So 
It's amazing to be back with old friends. Great to meet new ones. And um, I think there's going to be some really cool stuff that people don't expect to see or they've been possibly waiting to see from a lot of these characters. So. I was lucky enough to meet you when, on the set of Inception, I think, is when we first yeah. met. I remember you saying how much you loved making a movie of that scale and with special effects and the visual ambition of it. Yeah. So uh, I was, it occurs to me you must be very, very excited to be back in the mutant universe. A absolutely. And, you know, when I did the, the first one, I, you know, had never been on a set remotely to that size or scale, so it sort of blew my mind. And joining a group of people who are already close, but they could not have been you know, more lovely and, and welcoming and so sweet. And then never did I expect to be back playing Kitty Pride again and just couldn't be more excited. Movie, but 
But yeah, any, anything's possible. It, it, what, it, it really occurred to us that the, the X-Men universe is every bit as large, if you really look at it, as the remaining Marvel universe, the DC universe. And I think if carefully explored, movie by movie, um, much the way Marvel's done and, and DC is beginning to do, um, I think there's a lot of room for growing and expanding, expanding uh, the film canon for, for X-Men. So yeah, I mean, some people could have their own movies, combined movies, all those things are obviously possible, so we've seen working. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> <laughs> no, because if I say yes, then Brian Singer confirms Deadpool. <laughs> You know, Hugh, I had a quick question for you. You know, um, there's an actor over in the Marvel Studios universe that's done quite well, named Robert Downey Jr. And I was wondering, <laughs> I was wondering if it's, he's an actor. Who, who's that? It's I'll, Robert. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Okay. But I was just wondering, you know, if, if Wolverine, Iron Man didn't get along, kind of met each other, would that be like a can opener situation, or what would that? Be? <laughs> Responsible for taking down Iron Man, but you know, look. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm open to that. I reckon that'd be fantastic. Uh, some kind of uh, big mashup. I, you know, when I was young in Australia, we had a com uh, cartoon on TV that had the superheroes and the Hall of Doom, and they were all in together. That, that was 8:30 Saturday morning for me every week. I'm all for it, but. Uh, there's people way above me who have to decide that one, so. Fantastic, and we're going to take another question. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alejandra, and well, every second getting out in the cold with the wet grass, it's really worth it. And like every, every... Do another X-Men film besides no, this? No, I think we could pick another character to be. Uh -huh. The good thing about my character is I can do that to anybody. <laughs> I was 
wondering if we're ever going to see a gambit grow in the Exploring all options at the moment, right? I'm down. Taking notes, suggestions. Taking notes, suggestions. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm, I'm really jealous. Is there anybody from Scotland here? Quicksilver, as we all know, is like popping up in different places. I don't know what you can say about that. Is there anything? Is it? Uh, yeah, well, it, Quicksilver was always a part of the story as we were developing it. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't, it, uh, the casting, it, was, it took a while to find the right actor for this role. Evan, I'm a huge fan of Evans, and so making that work was really fantastic. Um, it, it, I doesn't, I don't, I can't speak to the Avengers, but the but it's uh, you know our character our character exists. Yeah, we'll talk about the character. There you go, Evan. You describe the character. No, oh, yes. <laughs> he's uh, he's very fast. Uh, it's very fast. It's quick. I don't know. It's just fast. It just it just talks quick. He, he moves quick. Everybody is very slow compared to him. It's like it's like he's always. At an ATM, waiting for the bastard in front of him to finish. So it's, always kind of, it's always kind of like that. He's got excellent genes. <laughs> Is it going to be the green costume or the blue costume? It's, it's got to be a '70s costume. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, you know, I grew up as a kid in the '70s, and I had forgotten how hideous some of the clothing was back then. <laughs> She was 
on the phone. She's on the phone. I'm trying to record. It's an important call. <laughs> Hi, my name is Audrey. I just wanted to let you know that I, I've loved Let X Men since I was a little girl, and it's such an honor being around with you guys. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> it's like a dream come true just to have the cast of the original X Men, the new X Men, and Wolverine. Like, this is like the best night of my life. <laughs> your favorite character now, not necessarily the person that you're playing. Should we start, you want to start at that end, Evan? Uh, I said Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. English. Mystique. <laughs> growing up in the cartoons, it was, I loved the beast in the cartoons growing up. He's got a crazy accent, and maybe if people can understand him, they'll be able to understand me. <laughs> <laughs> Professor X. Sorry. Because <laughs> he's in charge. And I'm in charge. I'd love to play Wolverine one day. And no, I, uh... <laughs> seven times is not enough. No, uh... Deadpool. I would like to play any female character <laughs> in any X-Men movie because then I might stand a chance of winning an Academy Award. <laughs> Yeah. 
first, I'm going to tell you about a couple things. Thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. you guys, if you guys want to watch the footage, I know you haven't seen it yet. If you step off the stage this way, if you step off the stage this way, there's glasses waiting for you. So we are going to now watch the footage again. And these guys have 